Um, okay, so the next one is from uh, Kevin. In regards to the new TV series, Who Killed WCW, their answer seems obvious. Vince McMahon. Sure, Bischoff and Russo made creative decisions that led to disinterest from fans, but Conan always says it all takes one good angle to turn things around. Certain AOL and Time Warner execs did not want wrestling on their network, so they sold the company. But WWE and TNA have survived countless network changes and are still in business. Inevitably, Vince McMahon decided he did not want to keep the WCW brand alive and find a new home. Tony Khan could have made the same decision with ROH, but didn't, which is why the brand is still alive. Ultimately, Vince McMahon pulled the plug while WCW was on life support. Vince McMahon killed WCW, agree or disagree. It's a good point. He did kill. He owned it. He got rid of it. Well, you know, that, well, I would say that. Well, go ahead. Give your statement. I'll give mine. That's it. Okay. I, 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 I agree with this guy's statement. My, my statement agree. is he killed it afterwards. But before that, like Eric said in the thing, and uh, Brad we're, still, oh, yeah. we're, we're still going to get Eric on, right? Uh, Joe, have you reached out to him? Well, you said Penzer first, and then you wanted to have Eric on when Who Killed right. WCW was over. Well, what's tonight, Joe? Tonight's the last night of Who Killed WCW. So, we'll have a, so then we'll have him next week. All right, All right, cool. So Eric said it best in the documentary. He said that it was a death by a thousand paper cuts, right? So I would attribute it to Time Warner. I feel Eric giving too much freedom and uh, I know he had creative control, but too much creative freedom and power too long instead of siding with Hall and Nash, who I thought had the better ideas. Okay. The top guys looking out for themselves and not the longevity of the company. That's my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what else did he say in this? Something about uh, Ring of Honor? They could have survived. Like they could have survived if he decided to keep it alive. Like WCW could have remained a brand like ROH. Right. But then I he, mean, there's all. Uh, like, oh, like ROH. Wait, right. wait. So that that's what I was thinking about. ROH. He did say yeah. something about ROH. Bro, really, ROH is alive, but who gives? And I'm right. not hating. I'm just stating. What revenue are they making off of that? What draws do they have? To me, it's a vanity project and a costly one. Let well, Sanjay, let Jimmy, let Jeff and others run that. You don't got to do everything, dude. You know, it's like if you're on a cruise ship and you want to be the captain, the chef, the engineering officer, just <laughs> delegate authority to other people. Polly tried it in ECW, didn't work. Antonio Pena, my former boss and mentor, tried it in, in AAA, didn't work. I understand if you want to do something, do it right yourself. I, I actually feel that way many times on this show, but I don't have time, you know, and so... You don't got to be mean. In, in, in Mexico, they call it el yo-yo. Yo-yo is like, yo, 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 me, 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 me. I did everything. I do everything. Dude, you don't have to do f***ing everything. All right. Yo, what's up? I just want to thank you guys for watching this clip. Don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And join our YouTube membership for hours and hours of exclusive, unedited, uncensored content and being a member will help you get involved in our upcoming live streams uh thank you for your support thank you for riding with us i know you got a lot of other uh podcast choices be it wrestling or other ones and thank you for picking us boom